Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about positive mindset. Hey, I'm Sabine Becker, and I'm known as the spirit of perseverance. I have experienced firsthand how sometimes how overwhelming and defeating life's challenges can be. Let me share a little bit about my background. When I was born, I faced enormous odds because I was born with very small arms due to the drug thalidomide. In case you're not familiar with the drug thalidomide, I placed a link in the description down below. Check it out. So when I was born, there was very little hope for me to even survive, let alone live a fulfilling and independent life. As a result, I often took on the victim role. I felt sorry for myself and I had a negative view on my life. I truly, at that time, when I was very young, I did not think I had any control over my future. But then, in the mid-1970s, I heard about my first role model, Johnny Erickson Tata a young American who was just 17 years old when a diving accident left her paralyzed from the neck down. Through her book, Journey, she taught me about gratitude and the power of mindset in overcoming adversity. Wow, you know, that was news to me when I was maybe 13 or 14 years old. And in my mid-teens, I really started looking at my own life. And through her, through Joni, I was inspired to take responsibility for my life. And I stopped waiting around to be rescued. I became aware of the power of perseverance. And I learned to take small steps towards success defying all those limiting beliefs from my childhood and transform them into the passion for the possible. And over the next two decades, I developed my PUSH mindset. This is my acronym that stands for Persevere Until Success Happens. To me, it embodies the power of perseverance. But you know, my story of perseverance did not end there. In 2012, I faced a tragic, life-altering event. I suffered a massive stroke while I was driving my car. I survived an unsurvivable event. But as a result, the stroke, I could not walk. I could not even talk. But you know, this time, I refused to let my circumstances control my life because I remembered the push mindset. With courage, I pushed through one year of rehabilitation and I had to learn again how to walk, how to speak. But today, I'm happy to say I'm completely independent again, and I'm still driving my non-modified car. So, what does my disability and my near-death experience have to do with you? Because my adversity has taught me lessons I can pass on to you so you don't give up when you encounter obstacles. Because a push mindset is essential no matter what your circumstances or adversities are. Here are three tips to help you develop your push mindset. Number one, reframe your challenges as opportunities, yes, and as said opportunities, because that's what they are, opportunities for growth. 
instead of seeing them as obstacles or roadblocks, see them as an opportunity to learn to become stronger. And by the way, set achievable goals and break them down into smaller steps. Number two, stay focused on your goals. Push through obstacles and believe that you can succeed no matter what the challenges in your life are. This is the essence of a push mindset. And number three, find role models who have been through the fire and refuse to become a victim. It is easy for people to speak about obstacles and how to overcome them. But I suggest you really find somebody who truly gets it because he or she has been there. Look for people who have developed that passion for the possible and the positive push mindset. In closing, I believe the secret to my success as an inspirational speaker and coach is that I have experienced tragedy in my life. Although it has not always been pretty, I have developed a push mindset. I know that everybody has that magic of push inside of them. You have a magic of push inside of you. If you want to tap into your push superpower, visit my website and download my free ebook, The Power of Push. And while you're on my website, you can set up a free 30 minute discovery call with me and we can explore ways for me to help you push through your adversity. And I really would like it if you're in the comment section below, let me know how you pushed through adversity and how you found your way to success. Also subscribe to my channel because the next video is going to be about my favorite subject of all, reframing.